What's happening? I'm Scorcher, Mr. Skywalker. I'm just here, you know, having fun, you know, so. <laughs> Most coy introduction. So what are you promoting right now? Um, just getting ready to drop my new single, It's All Love, man. It's going to be great to um, get back to putting music out, man. I think I've always been making music, but actually putting music. I'm sure you've been asked this eight billion times, but how was the Top Boy experience? Oh, it was lovely, man. I enjoyed it, man. That was like my first time acting, man. Really enjoyed it. It was a nice experience for me. So what do you think about the Top Boy critiques, saying that it really glamorised that sort of side of things, um, that culture? I think people, people that people that look like that look at it like that. I think they're just trying to find, find an issue. Do you know what I mean? For everything you do, there is opinions for and opinions against, and I think that's just a given. I think, I think, most of those people, um, what they're actually doing is is co-signing it and actually letting you know, no, this is really authentic. Because if it wasn't, if it wasn't realistic. And it didn't. It didn't show the the reality of what was going on. People wouldn't like it. And it probably wouldn't bother people so much. You know what I mean, I, I'm I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure people don't sit down and watch The Wire and say, "Oh man, The Wire glamorizes it." You know what I mean? Mm. You you take it for a, a, a you know a body of of work or an art. You know what I mean? And, and that's how I look at Top Boy. And I'm I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure most of us looked at it like that as well. So I also read on your Twitter, I don't know if this is your real New Year's resolution, that you want to put up more music and not, not so many features? How are, what's that going to look like? What's the plan for that? It wasn't, it wasn't so much I, I want to do less features, I just want to put out more of my own music, you know. Um, while, I was, while I was doing a lot of recording, a lot of recording and, and doing acting, a little bit of Top Boy and some other things last year, I kind of started doing features like it just started off with one person and then the phone kept ringing and it just kind of just snowballed and it was like oh I was getting hit up about a lot of features so I, I don't I don't want to make 2012 be about features you know mm -hmm. so um, I'm getting back to what what I do best man you know I get so many people asking when are we gonna do that so I just want to give people what I've been recording for the past year and well, I, I continue to keep recording, man, and just get the music out there. So you're gonna have people feature on your stuff? Yeah, Is man. That? Yeah, man. I've got to lay on the chorus of my um of my my new single. It's all love, and I've got a massive remix. But I, I can't I can't let the names off. But the remix is five star. That's exciting. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So what would you say is the overarching idea or? of the, the upcoming project. Does it have some sort of theme or is it going to be track to track? No, we're definitely we take it track to track, man. Uh -huh. But the 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 theme is Scorcher. Uh -huh. that, that's the actual the actual theme is Scorcher's life. Like uh, if you follow me on Twitter, uh -huh. you will kind of see that I'm really into very different things at very different times. Like you can catch my Twitter one day uh -huh. and everything's laughing a joke and with catching joke about I don't know anything, do you know what I mean? It could be something normal like Big Brother and then another day you might see my Twitter and I'm ranting and raving about some arsehole that did something that pissed me off, you know what I mean? So the only thing the only thing that, that, that is that is gonna be consistent and it's gonna be focused around is me and all the different facets that make me. Okay, so is two thousand and twelve gonna be album touring yeah, we don't, to tell you the truth, we don't stop touring. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't stop. Like, we're always doing shows. More touring, more projects, you know, um, be it album. I think we're likely to drop our album this year. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say any dates or anything and start telling lies to everyone, but mm -hmm. you will get at least two bodies of music from me this year, be it f something for free and also an album. You know, I just want to, I just want to be an artist. I mean, I, I was going through certain little things last year, like all different kind of things that I don't even really that I'll, I touch on in my in my forthcoming music, mm -hmm. um, like business things, personal things. There was just so many different situations going on, and at the same time, trying to find myself musically. And I think I found that uh, in the mix of all of that, I think I think I really, really, really found myself, and I'm. I'm dying to see how people react to this single. Do you have anything else that you'd like to say at all? 
No, man, this has been a nice cultured interview. I liked it, man. Good balance of sensible questions, fun questions, good research, and good look into the future. I really like this interview. It was nice. Big up word on road. You done know we air with me. School to sky. Walker. It's all love. You get me? Yeah. <laughs>